All right, guys, I uh, just want to do a quick little tutorial here on how to get the improved map that we're going to actually be using on the server. The map is uploaded to the server itself, but you also have to have it on your computer as well to be able to see it. And the benefit of this map is that we have area codes now. So you can see when you're actually zoomed in, you can actually see the street names which is a huge improvement you can actually see you know what I mean where everything is so you can call it out to uh, you know the other people that you're you're in there working with especially if you're in law enforcement or if you're trying to meet up with your buddies or you know something like that it's just a lot more accurate than the regular map so the way you're gonna go about getting this onto your computer is pretty straightforward this isn't super complex you want to come down here to downloads You'll click this and it's going to bring you to this right here. You'll come over here to where it says download on the top right. Click that and then just direct download. And that will direct, uh, directly download it onto your PC. I'll just click it. I already have it. It's going to download here. And then you can just place this wherever you want to place this. I already have this taken care of. So I'm going to close this out. I have it right here on my desktop. I'm just going to do this here so you guys can see what exactly you need. So I'm going to extract these here. And you have to extract the files from this. It's not going to just necessarily work um, with that file. You can't just open it. So you're going to get that file. He's actually placed over on my other screen. Hang on. And client side. Okay, so the server resource you don't have to worry about. You can just go ahead and delete that. That's the one that I had to put onto the server. You guys want this client side media. You're going to open this. I keep opening on the other screen. And this is going to tell you where you need to put this. Okay, so you want to go right here to put in media in text. And this will just tell you exactly the directory that you need to be in. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys how to get to that because that can be a little bit tricky in itself for some people. I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to open documents. I'll come in here and I want to make sure that I'm checking on my PC. I'm going to type in 5M application data. Okay, and you're going to let this search for a minute. And if you know how to navigate to this yourself, that's fine. I'm just putting this in here to show you the easiest way to find this if you don't know how to find it yourself. So now I'm going to look right in here. And you can see right here, this is the file. This is recent and the other one. You don't want the app. You want this application data. Okay, so you're going to open this. Double click it. It should open the file. Okay. And if you look in here again, this tells you that you need to put it in the application data. And I'm just going to pull this out of here to make this a little bit easier so I can close this out. I don't have to have all these windows open. This is the only window I need to have open right now. And it says application data, which we're in application data, citizen. I'll go to citizen, common, common, data, data, however you like to uh, pronounce that. And then the UI. You come in here and this is where you want to drop it in. Okay, and you can see I already have mine in there. You just take this file, drop it in there, and that's all you need to do. And just close that out. You can't have your game running while you do this, so make sure you have your game closed, obviously. And then you'll be good to go. So I just wanted to give everybody a quick rundown on how to get that map so that everybody knows what the call outs and what everybody's saying when they're looking at their maps. All right, guys, have fun out there. Later.